During Operation Arc Light, Arc Light and sometimes Arc Light from 1965 to 1973, the United States deployed B-52F Stratofortresses from bases in the US to Guam to provide close air support to ground combat operations in Vietnam. The conventional bombing campaign was supported by ground control radar detachments of the 1st Combat Evaluation Group 1CEVG in Operation Combat Skyspot. Arc Light operations usually targeted enemy base camps, troops concentrations, and supply lines. Topic. Aircraft used Previously dedicated to carrying nuclear weapons, in 1964 the U.S. Air Force began to train strategic bomber crews to deliver conventional munitions flying the B-52F. The B-52Fs were deployed to Anderson Air Force Base in Guam and Utapau Royal Thai Navy Airfield in Thailand. To add conventional bomb capacity, Project Big Belly modified all B-52Ds to enable them to carry 30 tons of conventional bombs. By the middle of April 1966, all B-52Fs were redeployed back to the U.S. and were replaced by the Big Belly modified B-52D. Later in the Vietnam War, the B-52G was also deployed with the B-52D. Topic. Operations in Laos and Cambodia Congressional investigations of secret CIA activities in Laos revealed that B-52s were used to systematically bomb targets within Laos and Cambodia. Topic. Operational use The bombers were first used in Southeast Asia on June 18, 1965. Flying out of Anderson Air Force Base, Guam, 27 aircraft dropped 750 pounds (340 kilograms) and 1,000 pounds (450 kilograms) bombs on a Viet Cong stronghold. During this mission, two B-52Fs were lost in a mid-air collision. Another was lost when it was unable to conduct air refueling. Missions were commonly flown in three plane formations known as cells, releasing their bombs from high in the stratosphere. The B-52s could neither be seen or heard from the ground. B-52s were instrumental in wiping out enemy concentrations besieging KHE-San in 1968, and in 1972 at Unlock and Quantum. Arc Light was reactivated at Anderson on February 8, 1972 when President Richard Nixon resumed bombing of North Vietnam in an effort to move peace talks along. Over 15,000 men were sent to Anderson on temporary duty over the next 90 days. With limited barracks and other facilities tents were set up behind for use by men working 80-hour weeks, Arc Light missions continued until the cessation of hostilities by all U.S. forces on August 15, 1973. Between June 1965 and August 1973, 126,615 B-52D, F, G sorties were flown over Southeast Asia. During those operations, the U.S. Air Force lost 31 B-52s, 18 from hostile fire over North Vietnam and 13 from operational causes. The typical full bomb loads were B-52F, 36,500-pound and 750-pound bombs in a mixed load, or 51,500-pound bombs, 27 in the bomb bay and 24 on underwing pylons. B-52D, 108,500-pound bombs, or a mixed load of 64,500-pound bombs in the bomb bay and 24,750-pound bombs on underwing pylons. B-52G, 27 bombs, all in the bomb bay, no external bombs were carried. Topic. Problems Communication leaks undermine the effectiveness of the campaign. According to Stephen Budiansky, despite NSA's occasional success in tightening up particularly leaky communication practices, the problems continued throughout the war. Strategic Air Command Dot was by far the worst offender, giving the North Vietnamese as much as eight hours warning and often revealing exact launch times and likely targets. Topic. Combat Skyspot Memorial 19 technicians of the 1st Combat Evaluation Group 1CEVG were lost in ground combat. On September 21, 2010, President Barack Obama presented the Medal of Honor to the sons of Chief Master Sergeant Richard L. Echberger for his actions in the Battle of Lima Site 85. A memorial to all 1CEVG technicians is located directly behind the Arclight Memorial. <laughs>